right, Geminis, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a bonus reading. We're going to see what your person is feeling and thinking and what energy could be coming towards you. All right, so we have the Two of Wands. Whoops. Three of Swords. The Six of Wands reversed. So some of you feel like something is not moving. Yeah, you have the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords. You also have the Two of Wands. Three of Swords. All right, for some of you, you feel like something is not moving forward the way you want it to. Something stagnant here. And you're not sure what to do about the situation. I feel like you're just thinking about it a lot, but nothing's happening. With this Three of Swords energy, this is something that upsets you. So this person either did something to you or they said something. Or you're feeling like you don't know where this connection is going. So and being as though you don't know this person's intentions and where this is going. I feel like you're just sad about this. And you're not sure if you're ready to walk away from it or work it out. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. So some of you feel like something's not going to be successful. Like you feel like there's no victory in this situation. The harder you try to work this out with this person, you may feel like um, the further apart you guys grow. And with this Eight of Swords energy, I feel like you're constantly questioning whether you should continue this connection with this person. Spirit, so what messages do you have for Gemini? What do they need to know? Some of you are staying to yourself. You don't want to be bothered. I'm picking up that energy. Eight of Cups reversed. You're not ready to walk away from this just yet. You think about it a lot. And I feel like you're um, just isolating yourself. Possibly just feeling the need to be alone and think things through. Yep, so we have the hangman here. We have the emperor reverse. So we have Pisces energy, Aries energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Queen of Cups. And the Four of Swords. I feel like some of you guys are just extremely emotional. With this Emperor Reverse, you feel like you don't have any control over this situation. You feel like it's just whatever way it's going to go, it's just going to be that and you can't control it. I feel like you're trying to look at things from a different perspective or you're trying to understand your person more and why they feel the need to act the way they do. Some of you guys are also, um, you're healing from something. So you're like, there's no action being taken right now. You're just like, it's time for me to heal, to think something through, to see what I'm going to do about the situation. This card is so eerie. It looks like someone laying in a coffin, doesn't it? Um, it looks like so 1919 or 1918. All right, but anyway. So, spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? Let's see. Oh, okay. The Hierophant reverse. Some of you are dealing with the Taurus and you feel like this person doesn't want to settle down. They don't want to commit and you're tired of trying to get this person to commit or you're trying to go, tired of going through this. King of Cups reversed here. So we have the King and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like you're emotional about the situation and your person is. With the Hierophant in reverse, some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. I feel like you guys are on two different pages here. But both of you... No, your person is unstable. If you're dealing with the Water Sign or a Taurus, I feel like it's just too unstable for you to sort of figure this out. And so it's making you emotional. But I feel like this person is emotional about the situation as well. Somebody here is not ready to settle down with that hierophant in reverse. They still have more lessons to learn. Like they're being taught something, but it's like they're um, they're not learning. So even though they're being taught lessons, I feel like they're still repeating different, um, different cycles when it comes to their behavior. And you're just tired of being frustrated with this person. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? What can we expect from this person? The sun reversed. Could be a Leo. We also have the five of pentacles with the justice. I do see fairness coming your way after something that you're stressed and worried about with the nine of swords. 
I knew that was going to happen. Those cards just fell right out of my hand. This may be your person that's stressed out. Some of you um, may be dealing with, all right, so we have Leo energy. We have Virgo energy as well. And we have Libra. Look at all of your major arcanas. Wait, how many major arcanas do you have here? Oh, yeah. All right. So the universe is telling you not to stress about a situation. This situation is going to be taken care of. And there's nothing that you can do at this time. Something is at a um, something is at a stalemate position. Is stagnant. Look at this major arcanist, and then the nine of swords is like right in front of everything. You have the nine of swords with the hermit, the sun, the justice, the hierophant, the emperor, the hangman. The universe has stepped into the situation, and it's sort of like you know whatever you're trying to handle. The universe is saying it's just time for you to get into the passenger seat and let the universe drive this. Because I feel like you're trying to handle something and the universe is trying to handle it as well. But with the justice card here, you could be dealing with the Libra or things are going to work out in your favor and you just don't see it yet. We also have Gemini um, and Virgo energy with the Hermit. Yeah, I, do, I don't know. I just want to say that the universe is sort of trying to tell you through this reading, don't stress about the situation. Gemini, if this is you, whatever it is that you're going through, you're going to come through it. With the sun card here, the justice card here. The next card in the deck is the will of fortune. I don't feel like you have control of this. And so it's best not to worry about it. Some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign, Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus. And you're just like, you're so fed up with this. And I feel like the reason why you're fed up is because you're trying to get something to work out here. And the universe is also trying to handle this in a specific way. And so you're being met with resistance I see a lot of resistance here. You also feel left out in the cold with this five of pentacles. You feel like this person keeps abandoning you. Or either you want to abandon this situation, but you don't know if you're ready. Every time you think about walking away and abandoning this, because I did see the eight of cups here. Whenever you think about walking away and abandoning this situation, you start looking at things from a different perspective with the hangman here. You're like, okay, should I, you know, should I give this person another chance? And if this is not you feeling this way, Gemini, this could be your person. I feel like something is going to come together when you least expect it. It's like it's already in the works. So whatever this is, you don't even have to stress or worry about it. It's like you don't have to do anything. With the two of wands here, you're trying to figure out what decision you should make. And the universe is saying, don't do anything. This is sort of like the universe saying, just let me handle it. So what messages do you have for Gemini? What do they need to know? The Ten of Pentacles reversed here. This could be about a family. So some of you may be married to this person and you're wondering if you guys are going to stay together. We do have the Knight of Wands here. Someone is watching you with the Page of Swords and we have the World Reversed. So the situation is not over. The cycle will continue, but I feel like there's some changes that's coming to the cycle. Someone is trying to get a reaction out of you with that Page of Swords, Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles reversed. They want to see you react to the situation and you're not doing it. But you could be stressing behind the scenes, but you're like, okay, I don't want this person to know I'm stressing because I'm not going to show them anything. Because it looks like this person is trying to guess what you're feeling or thinking. And you're you're tired of it. It's like you know that something is not over with someone. And you're asking yourself, like, why do they keep me waiting like this? Or maybe this person, they call you and, and reach out to you, text you. And then you think something is moving forward. And then it's back in the hangman stage. Back in the hermit stage. Yeah, the universe is saying, that, like, you don't have control over this right now. So it's best to just 
let things play out the way it's supposed to because I feel like what's going to happen here is you're going to start seeing these changes in your situation. All right, let's get a couple more here and let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? What do you need to know? The King of Swords. So you're looking at things from a logical standpoint. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, here comes an offer for you. Something is going to manifest with the Magician. The Page of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. You have the Death card. Well, you also have the devil. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. There's some changes, definitely. There's a transformation coming for um, your situation. You've manifested this, whatever this is. The page of wands is the good news card. So there is good news coming. Page of pentacles. There is a message that's coming in for you. If you haven't received this message just yet, you will. It could be from another air sign. Well, this is just you like trying to look at the situation from a logical standpoint here. Uh, we have Scorpio energy and Capricorn. So some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn. But yeah, the universe is saying relax. You know, think about things for yourself. Like, you, you know, put your focus on you. Because whatever you're stressed out about, the universe has total control of this. And it will be worked out. Just in the right timing. Yeah, especially with this magician card being here. And the uh, page of wands and the page of pentacles. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.